I've been streaming since 2019 and in 2022 I had the most growth I've ever had in terms of followers and viewers. However, it was the year that I made a mistake that I have been regretting. What is this mistake you may be wondering about? The mistake I gave way too many fucks. I cared too much about what other people thought of me. I cared too much about my analytics. I was insecure about being a smaller streamer and feeling like my growth was slow. I worried about what people thought about the games I was playing and changing things up. I even got anxious about TikTok and YouTube comments, but the bottom line is I gave way too many fucks. My name is Janie and I'm going to share with you why, no matter if you are partner pushing or you're just starting out, that you should not care too much about what other people think of you or about your analytics for all that matters. I know, I know, putting ourselves out there on the internet for the whole world to see can be pretty scary and can feel vulnerable all the time. We are putting ourselves out there for everyone to see. We are opening ourselves up to criticism. Naturally care because we want our viewers to enjoy Enjoy what we're doing and we want to put ourselves out there for attention and to grow and hopefully get some positive feedback. There's also just a risk of failure and embarrassment when we post things out there, especially our wacky personalities. I have anxiety on a general and social scale, so trust me, I completely understand how scary it is and I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes talking to new people, oh, am I kidding? All the time talking to new people makes me want to shit myself and I get stomach aches very easily. I don't even need the spicy nuggets this time. However, I poured myself into streaming and content creation like crazy last year. I was really invested and I was really determined to get Twitch partner last year. I thought it'd be a really, really awesome accomplishment to get for myself to prove that I can do this. But honestly, the mindset really started to consume me subconsciously and mentally. I got anxious over my numbers, my view count, my follower count, literally everything. And even when people who I admired would raid me, I would get very very anxious, especially when they'd bring over a lot of people because ah, I wasn't used to it. And then I also would feel anxious raiding other streamers because what if I was seen as a weirdo or even a clout chaser? Or if even the amount of people I brought wasn't enough to be even considered like anything worthwhile, you know? What if they judge me for my view count? As I'm a small streamer, does that mean I'm not good enough? Can I be accepted just as I am? I just want to be seen as content creator, streamer, whatever you want to call it, VTuber, Axel, Simp, whoever, whoever, I don't give a fuck. I just want to be seen for those aspects and not my numbers, you know? First of all, a general tip, uh, turn off your viewer count. Turn it off. Go, go, go turn it off right now. I'll wait. Did you turn it off? You turn it off? Okay, good. Just focus on engaging with your audience right now. And if your chat seems a little quiet, still do your best because you need to give something for your lurkers to listen to and enjoy. Okay, back on track. As streamers and VTubers, it is so easy to get consumed by these things. Check my burnout video because that's what it can lead to. But I want to focus less on the burnout aspect. First of all, I became insecure, as I mentioned earlier. I was so subconscious that I wasn't good enough. I was anxious interacting with other students because they seemed so cool and I was just a small fish or rabbit in the big pond of the internet of life. People judge you for your numbers and base your self-worth on that. They're probably not people worth keeping around anyways. Even bigger streamers get self-conscious too and they worry a lot as well. A lot of us are putting brave faces out there. It is natural to want to put our best foot forward. There's something from a K-drama that I really really like and I try to remember. Something along the lines that people are just as awkward and scared as me. But I also feel like that assuming that people will hate me or that people don't feel insecure can be hurtful. When people have approached me with, oh Chuni, you seem so cool, I thought you would not like me, it makes me feel sad because as long as you're chill and nice, like I'm not trying to come off as like a mean, hateful person on the internet, you know, like I don't want to put that energy out there. There are some crummy people online, but there's also very incredibly kind and genuine people too. It's something that I try to frame it as, as someone with anxiety. In the future, where there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of new friends out there that I have yet to make. There are viewers out there who can become regulars and become valued members of my community that can become positive influences on myself as well as other people around them. In terms of analytics, 
Goodness gracious. I hate the algorithm and I hate analytics. Literally, fuck that shit. For real, it sucks. It is so easy to see what we don't have and that the grass is greener on the other side. But we have to remember what we do have. Three viewers? That's enough to become a Twitch affiliate. That is three people watching you. And don't come at me with the, oh, but me and my bots are hanging out. No, no, no. Celebrate the live human beings that choose to come to your stream. They want to be there for you. That's so exciting, man. I think it feels discouraging to see growth move up and down, but unfortunately that is just part of the content creation process. People come and go due to personal circumstances, and honestly, that is not really our business to know about. But something that I like to think about is that I have viewers and regulars that have been keeping up with me since 2019. Even new people in 2023 that have stuck around with me. I feel really grateful now, especially because in 2022, I got so bogged down in my insecurity with the analytics. But now I just feel really lucky and thankful for them, and I think that those are good mindsets to implement into your own streams. So find things in your community that you do have. Do you have people that make funny jokes in your chat? Hell yeah. The one person that always uses your lurk command? Yes. The one generous soul that gives subs? Or that one silent viewer that retweets and likes all of your silly tweets and memes and announcements and events? Very good. The fact that there are people that care at all is something worth celebrating. No matter what game we play, whether we rebrand our VTuber models, we take breaks and hiatuses, there will always be cool people out there that support us no matter what, and I think we need to be thankful for them. Now, I want to ask you guys, if you got this far in the video, what are your streaming mistakes? Any regrets since hitting that go live button? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave a like and a comment. I really, really appreciate it. And if you want to hang out with me on my Twitch channel, I would really appreciate it if you guys dropped a follow there as well as my other social medias. And until next time, stay safe out there. Love you, care you all. Goodbye!